Hello, my name's Liz Davis and I'm the curator of St Neots Museum. If you come to the museum's early history gallery, you'll see the skeleton of a man in a case on the floor. Lots of people who come to the museum think that this skeleton is actually St Neot, but in fact it's the bones of a medieval man who was discovered buried close to the old priory uh, and his body dates from the uh, late Saxon period to the early Norman period. So he's thought to have been alive between 1000 and 1200 AD. The priory or monastery was built beside the River Great Ouse where the priory centre, the library and Waitrose supermarket stand today. It may have looked something like this image of a typical Benedictine monastery. Uh, the skeleton was discovered in 1993 during excavations before the building of a rear extension to 25 to 27 Market Square, which is now the women's fashion shop M & Co. The medieval priory had been built after the Norman conquest of 1066 to replace an earlier priory. The new priory with its church and cloisters were built by the early 1100s and the body of St Neot moved from the old Saxon chapel to a new shrine in 1124. The church stood where the rear parts of the Market Square shops are today, such as where the Cross Keys Muse is now. The cloisters and the monks' dormitory where they slept and the refectory where they ate their meals stretched away from the church back into Waitrose car park with other monastic buildings and a cemetery also around the church. Today, nothing remains of the old priory except some carved stonework which is in a basement cellar underneath one of the shops along the market square. Archaeologists have discovered that this skeleton is the skeleton of a man. They looked at his skull and the shape of his pelvis and that enabled them to um, tell the sex of the skeleton. When the man was alive, he would have been about 166 centimetres tall or about 5 foot 6, which is about my height. Looking at the teeth of the skeleton has enabled archaeologists to assess how old the man was when he died. This particular man was probably aged between 45 and 65 when he died, so he lived a relatively long life for the time. The man's teeth reveal that he had a good diet, but his teeth have also got quite a lot of decay, and this suggests that the monks were eating a good diet, but also one which may have uh, contained quite a lot of expensive, uh, rich food, which has damaged his teeth over the years. The possibility that the monks had comfortable surroundings and a luxury lifestyle is borne out by the fact that King Henry II of England visited St Neot's Priory in 1156 and then Henry III visited in 1229, 1235 and 1236. If you look closely at the skeleton, you can see that the bones of his spine are fused together. They have fused together because the man was suffering from a type of arthritis and this would have given him a painful and a hunched back. The man is thought to have been alive between 1000 and 1200 and there would have been no easy cure for his painful back. When the skeleton was excavated, it was noticed that there were some large iron staples um, underneath the body and archaeologists have several theories about what these large staples might have been for. One suggestion is that the staples are very similar to those used to hold together ship's timbers so the man could have been placed in his grave lying on planks of wood, possibly from an early medieval ship. Could the body have been left unburied until it needed supporting on wooden timbers to manage it into the grave. Or perhaps he lay on timbers in life to ease the pain from his back, so he lay on a wooden bed. That could be another explanation. We don't know why he may have been buried on ship planks, but perhaps he had links with the sea or with boats and trade. After all, St Neot's medieval priory is right next to the River Great Ouse so there could have been a link with ships and with trade. So we know that the skeleton are the bones of a man 
who could have been religious or an important person in the past, in the medieval period, we also know these are definitely not the bones of St Neot. We know that St Neot's shrine was destroyed at the dissolution of the monasteries in 1539. So what did happen to his body? Well, that's a story for another day.